And here are some examples we can work through fairly easily. We're told to list the terms in each of these expressions. So let's just make a list. This first expression has two terms, and the two terms are 6x and negative 5y. And the point here is to realize that that negative sign is part of that 5y term. It's negative 5y. Over here, a squared minus b squared, there are two terms, and they are a squared and negative b squared. This next one, x squared minus 6x plus 9. There are three terms, x squared, negative 6x, and 9. Here we have negative x minus y. There are two terms, negative x and negative y. Down here, 3a squared plus 2a minus 4. There are three terms, 3a squared, 2a, and minus 4, or negative 4. In this last one, 4ab squared times 3xy, there's one term in that expression. This is one thing multiplied by another. That makes all of these pieces combined into a single term. The single term is 4ab squared times 3xy. There aren't two terms, even though it's written in two pieces like that. They're still multiplied right there, and everything here is multiplied. This is 4 times a times b squared times 3 times x times y. Remember that terms, the terms are all the things that are added together, added or subtracted, but again, we usually think of them as being added together. And there's nothing added to anything else here. There's just that one single term.